Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to try to share a little bit about OneNote. Uh, I was just curious about knowing about it as I had uh, seen it for a while and somebody even asked me a question about it. So I thought I'll make a quick uh, 10 to 15 minutes video to share about OneNote. Uh, OneNote usually comes with, if you buy Microsoft Office, it comes with all the versions of Microsoft Office. And what it pretty much is, it's like a book. So when you start OneNote, you'll get these general section which has all this basics, top uses and things like that that you can go through. So if you look here, it's just trying to show you that this is like a book, a journal, where you can have different sections and categories and within each section you have pages. So these things are considered sections and you can add more sections and then you can keep on adding pages within those sections. And when you start um, OneNote, it might ask you that if you already had OneNote, you could import it from another computer or connect it to a different computer. Or you just say that I want to start OneNote on this computer. And it starts off like this. So all you have to do is press this arrow here so that it expands it. Okay. So um, first of all, you want to just add a section. You just click here and say I want to call this section to do list. And here I can start typing. You know, so, uh, say for example, this is the section. Now here the page title goes. So I can call it October 2012. So as I type that here, you see that October 2012 comes up. And I can now type wherever I want. I can say buy milk or whatever, things like that. Now within OneNote they have templates so if I go to the corner here click in the drop down button and I can click on page templates and in there there's a template called planner and I can choose simple to-do list which looks like this or a prioritized or I can also do a project so I can I'll go for the prioritized and now I can click here and I can type my list medium priority you know so and you can keep on adding it when you are done you can put a check mark now what it did is when I added it I added, created a new page rather than adding it to this page so I think I'll have to check here how to do that but you can just start it with a new page and I, and I can call this say November 2012. So you can always rename it. I can right click on something and delete it. And right click and rename it if I wanted to. Or just rename it right here. Now, one of the reasons why I'm thinking of using uh, OneNote is for recipes. So here I have this recipe here. And I copied some recipe from uh, foodnetwork.com and I just pasted it here. So I'll show you a trick, trick what I do. So I have already created the recipe section and I'm going to go to the internet and I'll go to foodnetwork.com or from wherever and I can go to any of these categories, find some things to look at. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'll go to say this one. Now as soon as I come here, I can look for an option that will show me print recipe. So I click it. Now it's showing me in a nice little way where it will be printed and I click on print recipe again. And instead of printing into my printer, I can just send it to OneNote. And I click print. Now when I come back to my OneNote, it will ask me where do you want to put it. I'll say put it to recipe. Click OK. And then up here I can type the name of the soup. That's it. So I've got my recipe here. Now I could create within this recipe, I can create like a main section, say Mexican. And then all the Mexican food can be like a 
sub page within it. So if I say wanted to make this pea soup subsection of onion dip, I just left click and hold it and move it on the side. And now this has become like a sub page. I can go back, left click and hold it, move it out, and it's become a main page. So that's all you have to do if you wanted to keep on adding more recipes and things like that. Even from the internet, so say I now go to a different recipe, I could just copy this page as a link or I can just send it to OneNote. So if I wanted, I could just click it and it will ask me where you want to put it. I'll say recipe, click OK. It will look a little different because it's going to try to put the whole page out here. So I can now give it a name. And here it is. If I scroll down, here is the whole information and the cooking. But I just like that it's much easier when you go to the print option and that way it's easier to get it. But you can do that if you wanted to. Okay. And the same way you can do many other things like you can go to and create a new section and say um, you want to keep track of all the interesting websites you are coming across. So any websites that you come across, you can start keeping track of it. You can just copy and paste the URL here. You can even go here and you can choose website to visit. So it puts that link there. And say I go to some website, pcmag.com. And I copy this link. I just right click on it and I copy it. And now I can just right click here and paste it. I am using uh, OneNote 2010 just uh, to let people know. I think 2007 and 2010 are very much the same. So now I can make any notes here. Now the good thing about OneNote is that it's a very powerful in terms of searching stuff. So say if I go here in the search box and I type email John and something might let me see just find email. So there it is October 2012. So there is the email or say if I type onion and there's the onion dip. So it'll be a very nice way and a faster way to find stuff as you are trying to look for it. Just add a new section and this say I will, you wanted to keep track of some projects. Okay. And you can there are templates for business project overviews. You can even do like a meeting of notes and things like that. So say this was like a meeting or complex meeting or there are different ways that you can show your things detail meeting notes and you can put the and then you can type all the details here once you finish typing you can email it directly this whole information will be added to your email so if I click the email part you have to have Outlook set up for this part to work and here you see that whole email is attached that one note and you can just email it to the person that you wanted to so it's very easy to do these things okay. now just uh, some other things uh, maybe I'll create a new blank section test and you can insert if you go to the insert tab you can insert pictures tables you can insert links you can also enter the attach file. So say for example, I had like a Word file that I wanted to remind myself about something. So I can even go to the to-do list and, uh, and then I can insert an attach file there. So I'll just do it here. It's much more cleaner. And I can attach a file. And I think I'll have something in my mail merge folder. And I'll double click on it. There's the file added and I can leave notes my, for myself here. I can even open this file here and it will open it into the Word. 
So if I open it, it's asking me a question. I click OK. So now it's opened in Microsoft Word. Now if I go back to OneNote, so it's right behind here, and I go to View, and I can say text Doc to Desktop. So you see, OneNote shows up on the side right there. And now I can make notes as I'm trying to do something here. So it's a nice little feature. View can go back to normal. So within view, you can dock it. You can go back to normal view. I'll just close this bit in there on the side. You can and you can put anything anywhere. You can also view and you can add a new note if you wanted to. So there's a nice little features that you can add to just keep track. You can even insert a audio to leave track so you can remind yourself something. You can also leave a video with your recordings and things like that. So there's a lot of different options. And there's this option called screen clipping. So it's very interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it and uh, I'm just going to come back here and say I wanted to I think I'll have to go back here just a minute. I think I'll just go to Google and say I am doing a search for an image and I type car. So this car came up, so I can click it, it shows up there. I go and say insert screen clipping. Now I can just highlight this clipping. And that clipping shows up in OneNote with the link already put there. So it's a nice little shortcut. And as I was mentioning earlier, you could always use these buttons here to send it. Or I think in Internet Explorer, right click might give the option. Nope, it's not on. Yeah, there it is, send to OneNote. So you can't even do that from right click. Okay. So interesting feature. Now I have this personal here and these are all the different sections I've created which I can right click, rename, delete, whatever I want to do. I can create new notebook. So this is a personal notebook. I can right click on it and I can click new notebook and I can choose to create a new notebook in my computer, give it a name and it will be created. I'm going to say type the name. You can make a separate notebook for work, a separate notebook for friends, and then you can share it. So which I'm going to come to that part now. Now the good thing with OneNote is if you've heard about Hotmail SkyDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud program where you can store files online, so you can access it from anywhere. So I can share my OneNote with SkyDrive so I can access it from anywhere in the world, make changes, and any changes I make, say from my phone or my tablet, they will automatically show up on my computer too. So to share, you just have to go to the share option, share this notebook. Just make sure that before you do that, it's much better if you went into your SkyDrive in Hotmail and created a folder. So if I share and I can choose web and then just sign in and you just choose the folder and this will be synced to your SkyDrive. So it's a really nice little feature and it will be syncing both ways. Any changes you make to the computer, it goes online. And you can also, even if you don't have OneNote on any some computer you are using, you can make the changes right online on SkyDrive through Hotmail. So that's a nice feature to use. So we talked about the recipe and how you can just copy stuff and um, you can print stuff whenever you wanted to you can do that anytime you had any say this is my document and I wanted to save it as a word file so I can click on file save as and then choose 1997 or word document and then choose save as do you want to save the current page the section or the whole notebook so you can do that if you wanted to Let's come back to home. As I mentioned earlier, these tags are also very interesting because they have some for contacts and things like that that you can use. And uh, besides the templates that are in this computer, 
which OneNote comes with page templates. You can go to theoffice.com and on there you'll find some other templates uh, for somebody who was trying to track nutrition or something like that and so they have many different templates that you can find and you can install it on this computer. OneNote also has some features within the draw category you can draw stuff like and these will be really useful with tablets because in a tablet you could like draw things and and with the newer tablets you'll have those opportunities to do that and you can sync it and save it wherever you are so a lot of different interesting options to draw things and you can even erase it as you wanted it but this would be really good in a tablet not on a computer now with the Windows 8 computers coming up, a lot of them will have the touch feature and also a regular computer, so that will be really well uh, fit for those type of things. So I think uh, that should do it. I believe uh, there is not a whole lot to this and you can find different templates and you can find uh, different things to do. In my case, I'm looking forward to taking care of all my recipes and putting them here and also sync it online so I'll have access to it from anywhere. So thank you for watching. Hope this was useful.